have sewn since I was about, oh, I guess, five or six years old. The first thing I remember making was clothes for my troll doll, and then um, Barbie so made, made an outfit for my Barbie. Uh, first sewing for myself, I was in fourth or fifth grade in a Girl Scout troop, and we made a dirndl skirt for a dance thing that we were doing. Um, and by summer between junior, between elementary school and junior high, so I was between sixth and seventh grade, I took a singer sewing class and made a princess seam dress, and nobody told me that princess seam was more difficult. By the time I was in ninth grade, I was hand tailoring my own suits, um, and the first thing I hand tailored was an uneven plaid, and again, mother didn't tell me it was difficult, so I didn't think it was. Um, so that's how I started sewing. Bernina was always something I aspired to. Um, I grew up sewing on one of the old slant needle singers that's in the cabinet, and uh, um, but I'd always heard about Berninas. I'd gotten to see them. Um, there were some friends that might have had something, but I never really got a chance to really sew on one until I got into quilting. And when I was probably in my 30s, got the chance to start uh, playing with some Berninas when I went to quilting events and then have been in the ambassador program for, I think it's about 12 years now. So 12 or 13 years now. So um, it's been an exciting chance to be able to work with the Berninas. And I think I owned my first Bernina starting in the mid-1980s. One of the things I've always loved about the Bernina is how precise it is. And when you're sewing quilts for competition, which I was um, throughout the 90s and the early 2000s, even a sixteenth of an inch or a, a thread difference can make a difference as to whether your corners are matching up. And so I love the fact that the Bernina gives me that kind of precision. I also love the fact that the Bernina handles a variety of threads so that when you get into the quilting mode of things, you're not restricted to just one thread. That's the only thread that works. That you can use multiple threads, you can use decorative threads, and my Bernina is not going to skip stitches. And so that's one of the things I love about it is that it gives me, um, allows me to use my full palette of options as opposed to just a basic one and this is all you can use. Happiness. Um, it's always fun to sit down in the machine and know it's a friend that I, I've got some friends that I know that they've got other machines and they're always complaining about that they're fighting with their machine over something. And I don't remember the last time I fought with my Bernina. Um, it's like a good marriage. I love to be able to share with people. Um, I love to be able to share with people my craft, my art and what I do and to be able to have a tool that makes all of that easier is um, allows me to get to the pleasure part. Um, and I used to do a lecture on the quilting circuit called Bras on the Quilt Frame Berninas in the Bathroom. And it was loads of fun because you could um, make it enjoyable and make it enthusiastic and knowing that the Bernina could take me anywhere, including sewing one time with the Bernina above the toilet in the bathroom straddling the toilet because everybody else in the room at the quilt show was asleep and that was and I had to get a project done. So that's how I that's why the Berninas in the bathroom came about. But the fact that I could trust it even to do something like that and so that was uh, I like just being able to share the joy that Bernina gives me. I get it from everywhere. One of the things that inspires me is color and visual texture. Um, you can see by what I wear that I love color. As like, um, For the last 10 years, I'd actually been working for Paper Source, which is a companion kind of art form, working in the paper arts. And getting to go to work every day and seeing color and visual texture was great. I'm thrilled that I'm getting more time now to be back into sewing with fabric because there's something very tactile 
um, about the fabric that bends and flows with you um, and allows you to massage it and manipulate it, which is just wonderful. The other thing I like to say is I see in geometry. And so um, I cannot do these abstract quilt that the art quilters do. I love them, I admire them give me a straight line and I'm happy. And I will create things that are based on straight lines. And I can create enough straight lines that it becomes a curve. And so that's one of the things that I love doing. And, um, and so that's part of where I come from.